Hi, I'm Bernd Debusman, Chief Reporter at the Halij Times, and today I'd like to bring you the news that Dubai police have solved the mystery of a headless body that was found in Dubai's Al Warqa area in May. Now, many of you probably remember that in June, the police were asking for the public's assistance in helping identify this body, which had been found by a cleaner in, in, on May 27th. Now, police weren't able to identify her immediately because the body had had its head and its hands removed. Um, so they reached out to the public for help. Now, once the investigation began, Dubai police quickly concluded that the body belonged to that of a maid. So being unable to identify her at the outset, they then gathered information on 9,751 maids who had absconded from their sponsors and matched DNA samples taken from the dead body to those taken from the belongings of the absconded maids. After doing that, they found that the identity matched with that of a Filipina who's identified as SML who worked as a driver for a family in Abu Dhabi. Now, from then, the police quickly concluded that the suspicions led them to a relative of the victim who lived in Abu Hale. They then visited several butchery shops, but didn't find anything, but later found out that the relative who they suspected was a salesman in a private company in Dubai. However, he had been a butcher also in the Philippines. The police quickly zeroed in on the suspect and raided his flat on September 20th at about 4 a.m. Now, when police raided this flat, they found the suspect, and he was extremely surprised that he had been caught at all. Under interrogation, he admitted that what had happened was that he had borrowed 10,000 dirhams from the victim, who obviously wanted the money back. But rather than pay her the money he owed, he decided he would rather remove her from the equation by murdering her. So he drove to her house in Musafa one day, invited her into the car, and once she was in the car, he stabbed her to death. Now, he then dismembered the body and drove part of it to Dubai before returning and cleaning up the murder weapons, throwing things away, and doing the best he could to clean up the remnants of the murder from his car. And then the following day, he drove to Ajman to a desert area where he dug a hole and attempted to burn the head and the hands. Now, the strangest thing about this case is that he told Dubai police that he had seen many zombie movies and that's how he got the inspiration for the crime and how to do it. He's now been referred to Dubai Public Prosecution for further investigation and legal proceedings. Now, we'd love to hear what you have to say about this strange crime. Do you find it as strange as we do and as the Dubai police did? And how do you feel about how the Dubai police handled this case and the investigative work behind it? Please give us your thoughts through social media at reporters at Thank you.